Argentinoceros is a genus of giant sauropod dinosaur that lived about 96 to 92 millions of years ago, during the late Cretaceous period in what is now Argentina. Although it is only known from fragmentary remains, Argentinoceros is one of the largest known land animals of all time, perhaps the largest, with length estimates ranging from 30 to 39.7 meters and weight estimates from 50 to 100 tons. It was a member of Titanosauria, the dominant group of sauropods during the Cretaceous. The genus contains a single species, a region Tinosaurus huincalensis. The generic name Argentinoceros means Argentine lizard, and the specific name Huincalensis refers to its place of discovery, Plaza Huincal. Argentinoceros is among the largest known land animals, although its exact size is difficult to estimate because of the incompleteness of its remains. To counter this problem, paleontologists can compare the known material with that of smaller related sauropods known from more complete remains. The more complete, taxon can then be scaled up to match the dimensions of Argentinoceros. Mass can be estimated from known relationships between certain bone measurements and body mass, or through determining the volume of models. Due to fragmentary remains, the size estimates vary between 30 to 39.7 meters in length, and weight is between 50 even up to 100 tons. With such estimates it is as long, or possibly longer, but weighting less than a blue whale, which is the largest animal to exist today. It is possible that Argentinoceros was the largest dinosaur to ever exist, however there is one dinosaur that was possibly even longer, the so-called Supersaurus. Its estimates are more accurate, with possible length being between 39 to 40 meters, however Argentinoceros was definitely heavier, as Supersaur's weight is estimated between 31 to 36 tons. First fossil of Argentinoceros was a fibula and was discovered in 1987 by Guillermo Aredia on his farm, Las Uveres, about 8 kilometers east of Plaza Huincal in Argentina. In 1989 a larger excavation was initiated, and multiple vertebrae and damaged pelvis bone was uncovered, resulting in the holotype specimen of Argentinoceros. In 1996 scientists assigned a femur bone found in the same location to the genus. The bone was deformed during fossilization. In 2004 another femur bone was assigned to the genus. It was not as deformed as 1996 femur, it only preserves the shaft of the bone. As of 2019, however, it was still uncertain whether any of these femora belonged to Argentinoceros. Argentinoceros likely possessed 10 dorsal vertebrae, like other titanosaurs. The vertebrae were enormous even for sauropods, one dorsal vertebra has a reconstructed height of 159 cm and a width of 129 cm. This mean a single vertebra was taller than an average bear. The vertebrae were internally lightened by a complex pattern of numerous air-filled chambers. Such chameleate bone is, among sauropods, especially pronounced in the largest and longest necked species. In both the dorsal and sacral vertebrae, very large cavities measuring 4 to 6 cm were present. The dorsal ribs were tubular and cylindrical in shape, in contrast with other titanosaurs, and possibly hollow, but it is also possible it was due to erosion after the death of an individual. The complete femur that was assigned to Argentinoceros is 2.5 meters long. The femoral shaft has a circumference of about 1.18 meters at its narrowest part. By comparison, the complete femora preserved in the other giant titanosaurs Antarctosaurus giganteus and Patagotitan Marum measure 2.35 meters and 2.38 meters, respectively. While the holotype specimen does not preserve a femur, it preserves a slender fibula that is 1.55 meters in length. The giant size of Argentinoceros and other sauropods was likely made possible by a combination of factors, these include fast and energy efficient feeding allowed for by the long neck and lack of mastication, meaning they didn't chew their food, fast growth and fast population recovery due to their many small offspring. 
Advantages of giant sizes would likely have included the ability to keep food inside the digestive tract for lengthy periods to extract a maximum of energy, and increased protection against predators. Argentinoceros, just like every other sauropod was oviparous, meaning that females laid eggs. The size of the dinosaur would suggest proportionally large egg, however that's not the case. Egg of Argentinoceros was just one liter in volume. It was smaller than an average ostrich egg, which is 1.6 liter in volume. Freshly hatched Argentinosaurus would have been no longer than 1 meter, and not heavier than 5 kilograms, it is possible that they were fox-sized. However, just like every other large sauropod, they increased their size by five orders of magnitude after hatching, meaning they would grow 100,000 times larger in a short span of time. As they grow larger and older, this rate would slow down, but it's still one of the fastest growth rate of any animals. As the size of Argentinoceros scared a lot of potential predators, even it was not safe from them. Small size of hatchlings meant they were prey of many different predators. As it grew larger, the number of possible threats reduced, however even the fully grown adults were not entirely safe from predators. It is possible that adult Argentinosauruses were preyed on by Mapusaurs, which is among the largest theropods known. It was up to 12 meters long, and weighted between 3 to 5 tons. It is known from at least 7 individuals found together, which receives the possibility of it being a pack hunter, available to bring down large prey, including adult Argentinosaurus.